What's up guys? Now CJ Dropshipping is one of the most popular dropshipping related suppliers out there. And in today's CJ Dropshipping tutorial for Shopify, I will walk you through step by step on how to actually use CJ. We are going to go through on how to set up your account, how to find and import your products, how to actually manage orders, how to customize your products and a lot of other important stuff along the way. So first of all, let's head over to CJ Dropshipping. I will leave you links to both CJ as well as Shopify down below. As you can see, their tagline is that they can fulfill your dropshipping dreams. Well, they basically do that by offering an in-house warehouse. This would be the CJ option right here. However, you can actually also dropship products from other third-party providers like QKSource, 1688, AliExpress, eBay and Taobao. So make sure to keep that in mind. This is important for later on. Let's right now actually register ourselves a CJ dropshipping account. Just head over to the register button and then put in your email, password and invitation code if you have one. Once you've put in your personal information, you can then go over all of the user questions right here. In my case, I'm just going to skip these as you don't really need to fill them out either way. And right here under store authorization, make sure to actually right now also skip this. This is going to make sense in just a second. And now we do have our CJ dropshipping account. First of all, make sure to actually verify your email. And as you can see, I've received this email right here and I've now actually successfully verified my email. Perfect. Let's click on confirm and this will now actually redirect us when we are going to click right here onto the CJ dropshipping dashboard, which is to be honest, a little bit overwhelming when you're just starting out. At its core, you will just have to understand that on the left, we are going to have all sorts of different tabs open, like for example, the card, the products, orders, service, authorization, and so on. So let's get started by actually connecting Shopify onto CJ. Head over to Shopify, navigate to the top right here and then simply just look for CJ dropshipping. You're then going to either find it right away when actually looking for it or you can just search it in the Shopify app store, which is what I'm going to do. So once you've searched it, it is then going to redirect you onto this app. Simply just click on install and this will then actually give you the option to install this. And after that, you can connect your CJ dropshipping account onto this. So this is by default going to actually detect the correct one, but you can still add another account if you want to, or you can register yourself also right here. But I'm just going to move forward with this. Now, CJ dropshipping is a great supplier for all sorts of different dropshipping related products. You can see this under the global product tab right here. And as you can see, you are basically going to get different kind of options where you do want to actually sell your product onto and based on that CJ dropshipping is then going to display you all sorts of different products and all sorts of different suppliers which which they have available so if I would select United States right here we can select the category inventory type inventory price launching time and a lot of other stuff right here we can then also change this to Germany and based on that this is then also going to update however we can actually still just simply just search for different kind of winning products so let's just go for something like an electric water gun, just as an example. So when we can now actually open this up, we are going to have tons of different options. So let's for example say that we do want to dropship this product right here. Let's actually open this up and let's quickly look at the product information because this is really important. As you can see, this would be a space water gun electric. The wholesale price is for this um, $5, pre-order $2, customizing, you can actually also do this. Now, one thing which I would actually encourage you to do, if you are actually going to build an e-commerce brand on CJ, you can actually also customize your products by actually heading over to customize right here. And this will then actually give you the option to post a customization request and then negotiate with the supplier what should be customized. Now, this could be something from a simple logo or changing the colors to completely custom stuff. So make sure to actually look into this if you actually do want to create a fully autonomous e-commerce brand. But I'm just going to select dropshipping right here. Now, one thing which is important is that this is actually when we are going to head over to inventory details. So one thing which is important is that this is going to have a good shipping time inside the US. So the estimated processing time would be one to three days and the estimated delivery time three to seven days. So this would be perfect actually. So although the shipping right here actually is great and you can move along with this, um, please make sure to always double check this because sometimes certain products aren't going to be available in the US warehouse 
for example. So you won't be able to get the good shipping time on this. And this is really important. This is something super important, which you will have to look out for. But let's, so let's go for this product as an example. We are also going to have quite a lot of different variants available, which actually also is super nice for starting out. Now, actually, if you are going to dropship something yourself, I wouldn't recommend to go for this product as this is actually highly saturated. But I'm still going to use this as an example and I'm going to add this onto the my products list so that we can then actually import this. Now I'm saying that this product is saturated because I've actually tried to sell this product a couple of years ago but it didn't really work out. And it is super important to always right away ask yourself how can you actually promote this product, how can you dropship it, how can you actually advertise it and so on. Because manually creating the ad creatives and manually testing out different kind of products can be super frustrating. Trust me I've been there. And that's actually where the long term partner of this channel while ecomats come into play. Now, Viral Ecomats is the leading dropshipping based video editing platform out there. Viral Ecomats actually already has generated over 30 million dollars in sales for the customers whilst creating over 100,000 ad creatives. By doing so, they've also partnered up with quite a lot of big names in the industry like the Econ King, Hayden Bowles, AC Hampton and a lot of other great guys. Now really, Viral Ecomats is by far the easiest way of testing out new products. They do have quite a lot of different packages for all sorts of different video ads or image ads which you can actually use to then actually advertise your products. This could be something like a simple video ad package where you can then actually promote your product on Facebook or something for TikTok. And one thing which I really like about viral ecom ads is that they do offer these packages right here which is going to give you free ad variations for one product which you can then use to test out your product and you can split test your ad to see which ad is going to be profitable, which is going to perform the best and so on. They've recently actually already implemented a new AI UGC ad package which really is a no-brainer in my opinion. These AI UGC ad packages are really good because you're going to get an UGC like quality video for just a fraction of the price. And you can actually also join their VIP membership which I would highly recommend you to if you are regularly testing out new products and if you do want to take dropshipping serious. You can use the code Krause or the code Elias at checkout to actually save an additional 15% off all of your purchases. Make sure to check out viral e-commerce with the link down below. So we're now on the dashboard, let's head over to the My Products tab on the left. We can now automatically import our product which we have before and set onto Shopify. We can do this by simply just selecting the product and then clicking on list right here. This is going to allow you to basically set up all of the different list details which is then also going to show up on Shopify. So as for the product tab, I'm just going to put in toy. The title, I'm just going to leave this as it is for now. Obviously, I would recommend you to update this with your brand name and with everything so that you can actually customize this. As for the vendor, I'm just going to leave this as my store. I'm also not going to add any collections or tags onto this. Let's rather look at the variant pricing. So by default, you are going to see that we are going to see the RPP. So this is going to be the recommended retail price right here. This is going to be based off the estimated profit which you can put in. Now, one thing which is really important to notice is that although the CJ price does look super cheap right here, two dollars, three dollars and so on, they are a little bit cheeky in a way that they actually do charge quite high shipping fees. So if you are going to actually sell this product right here, although it is only going to cost you 10 bucks, you are going to pay an additional 44 bucks in shipping. So this is definitely something which you will have to keep in mind. And therefore, in this case, I'm going to change the price for these products. I'm going to first of all, simply just select one of the, so th um, this is the basically the same type of product. So I'm just going to select these and I'm now going to add a two times markup onto this price right here. So I'm just going to add something like 38.90. Of course you can also change this up later on. And this right here is then basically I'm not rightfully going to basically calculate this because this doesn't take into consideration the total dropshipping price rather only the CJ price. So this is something which you will have to keep out for. Now I will actually repeat this process um, with the Glock right here. And just to not overcomplicate this, I'm just going to select all of the other options available. I'm going to set the bulk revise change to 99 bucks. 
So just so that we don't waste any time on this. We can then go over the images and video right here. Um, however, I would recommend you to actually select just all of the videos available, simply just import them and that you can then always later on actually delete them. Okay, so make sure to just add them right here. As for the description, I would recommend you to delete this. Most of the time the description is going to be really trash, so make sure to actually do a description on your own and then simply just list it now, now right here. And this is then actually going to list this product on Shopify. This is usually going to take a couple of seconds, but when we are now going to head back to Shopify, you can see that this is going to be available right here. One thing which I don't like is that basically right now, I think every product is going to be included uh, as a variant, so we only do have one pro product available right here, but we do have quite a lot of different, uh, basically different kind of product variants. So one thing which I would do is to basically post these products manually. So make sure to actually do this for your product if you are going to actually use products of CJ. One thing which I also do have to mention, the prices of CJ are actually relatively high comparing it to other providers like Sandrop for example. So I will also leave you links to those tools down below. Make sure to double check on that. You can then actually also set up your wholesale orders right here and you can actually also see your store orders. Now right here, this is actually one of the big upsides of CJ dropshipping. You can actually then fully automate your orders once you have some. So you can then simply just select that right here. So you can then just set it up right here once you have some orders. You can actually also go over their sourcing. So if you do want to actually add a sourcing request for a certain product which you do want to sell, you can also add that right here. You can actually also set up custom packaging. This is a super, basically this is a super good upside of CJ. With this you can add a custom packaging to so that it basically seems that your brand is more valuable. You can actually also do print on demand on CJ, although I wouldn't recommend you to do this as the margins aren't that high. And really, if you are going to do print on demand, I would recommend you to do that on another side like Printify. You can actually also view your dashboard right here and you can actually also basically view this and this is going to give you a general overview of everything going on. You can see the daily orders, daily spend, activated stores, shipping methods and a lot more. So I think this should have given you a pretty good walkthrough on how to use CJ dropshipping for Shopify. I will leave you a link to viral e-commerce down below. Make sure to check them out.